Come with your Rashirish or Inishman, August on Cave on Shin, on Talamor, August Mokesh the Rish, August Rish, Igoni, Kade Stodis and Fervor at Tabarti, a Tasagum Grautu at Anilon, a Kawil Mujfilor, the status of the promised development on Ankalamor. Where is that development at in terms of the studies that were promised? And I was looking forward to hearing an answer that they're completed or a date for their completion. Garmakit. Gormach got Kehirlock and Gormach got deputy, and I know this is something that you have raised with me um, on, on a number of occasions. Just the development of the Callamore Pier on Inchman is included in the National Development Plan, and as the deputy will be aware, Galway County Council is responsible for the development of Stage 3 of this project. As part of the preparatory works, the National Maritime College of Ireland was requested by Galway County Council to develop a, modu uh, sorry, a model a simulation for the harbour. Galway County Council has, col has collated the technical specifications of the key vessels that use the harbour and this data will be fed into the simulation. It is hoped that the simulation will be completed and tested with feedback given by the end of August. To feed into this process, additional uh, bathymetric studies are also to be carried out in the harbour to gather further data. This will be a multi-beam mapping survey which will be highly detailed but require suitable conditions to be carried out. Galway County Council advised my department at a meeting between officials last week that due to unsettled weather and marine conditions, the bathymetric survey has not yet been completed. It is hoped that conditions will settle in the next week or so, allowing for completion of the survey. Once this work has been completed, Galway County Council will incorporate the findings into a draft business case. And following on from this, my department will be in a position to evaluate the next steps in the process. Thank you for the strength of your reply. But if we put it into context now, 2008, this work started, phase one and phase two, and 14 years later, I and my colleagues, and I'm not alone, other colleagues from WEC all the West have raised this as well, and in an attempt to keep the pressure on and to get dates. And we'd, we'd, we know the work is complicated, but you've been out to the islands, I think, Minister, yourself, and you know the impact that the state of this pier has on business. There's a fantastic biz business out there, Kenithal Inishman. It's directly uh, affected. A uh, cargo coming in and out. You, you know, I don't need to say this to you. So each time we ask, there's a kind of a further little, the bad weather now is interfering with it. So have we, uh, are we on target? to have all the information and studies necessary by August. And then that will feed into the business case. When will the business case be ready? I think Toshishin Tilcha ag mwinche ron ilon ag an pwinche Thank you, thank you, uh, Deputy. And uh, look at, we need the draft business case from, from, from Galway County Council. And uh, these different surveys have to feed into it. And to be quite honest with you, Deputy, uh, I had to ask my officials, what is a bathymetric uh, report? So apparently it, it measures the depth of the waters, the underwater features, <coughs> the marine species, uh, and it, it really is a mapping of the sea, of the sea floor. And, and uh, look, I'm asking the same questions as you, Deputy. Uh, you know, you, you've raised this with me frequently. I, I've asked my officials the same questions. How long does it take to do these reports? Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to give a timeline because they're technical, they're time consuming. But I have told my officials to sit on Galway County Council and move this on because they are meeting with officials uh, in the County Council every two weeks. And that's the sense of urgency that I'm placing on it, uh, that they do meet with them. And uh, as I said, I understand your frustration. I have been out on the island and I know the points you're making. So thank you. Fine supplementary. National Marine College. You see, the County Council are saying they have to wait for Cork. So, uh, yeah, so it, you, and whatever about our frustration, you can imagine the frustration of, of Inishman. And I know late, later Deputy Coran has a question on the policy for the islands, and so have I. And you know, they've been waiting for a policy for the islands for a very long time. An interdepartmental committee was set up in 96. And then we had another interdepartmental um, committee set up 
to three years ago now, I think, and we're still waiting on that. And then within this, this vital piece of infrastructure where, where the island is, is doing very well in terms of industry, but it's been hampered by the inadequacy of the pier. So we're now 2022. So, Minister, are there any indications to you from the regular meetings, there's two meetings every two weeks, which I appreciate to keep the pressure on, is there any feedback from those meetings as to what the issues are? Or is this the final issue, the bad weather, in relation to carrying out the bathymetric um, studies in terms of debt? Is that the final issue, the bad weather? <laughs> okay, tell me how I'm going to mug. Um, thank you, thank you, um, Cahir, look, and thank you, Deputy. Look, at, if I knew how to de do these reports, Deputy, I'm sure <laughs> I, I do them myself, and I'm sure you do the same, because it does seem to be going on and on. But what I can say is that uh, there was work done to the pier. You know what? It, 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 it's dangerous uh, when, when a tide's at a certain level for the, for the ferry operators to come in. So, and there's issue impacting the cargo ferry in that there are many occasions when large differences in the sea levels created by the, the swell prevents their docking safely. I know about the factory out there that's, that's creating much needed jobs. Uh, so it was the fact that it was forcing the vessels to travel uh, on to Inishmore instead of docking that these designs prompted the need for the National Maritime College of Ireland uh, modelling simulations to inform the business case. And then, of course, we have this other report. Can I only say to you that I am committed to moving this on as quickly as I can we have to wait till they get the reports because there's no point in doing it again and not getting it right the second time. And it is complex, but, uh, you know, I, I do understand that your frustration. Thank you.